going to take you for a little view of what Tiago Pitbull Alves is doing here fight week. How the uh, superstar, future world welterweight champion is treating himself. This is his hotel room. Just to get a little view. See what life is like to be a superstar. Yeah, there's more. This is the small room. This is where the coach stays. That would be me. Boom. Little Donde esta el baño? Oh, looks like we found it. And that's right. We have a sauna. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. You ever try one of those? Keep it clean. This is the man's room. Oh, no, blondes do not come standard at hotel rooms in Vegas, although they should. That would be my wife, me, at Brandy Dolce. <laughs> Boom, even more, bathroom number two. Sir. We're still walking. And what's that? That's the second sauna. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty cool. Can't tell you what hotel we're in because we're here on purpose, avoiding the throngs, the fans, the the media. Unfortunately, the the distractions of Fight Week. We are hidden in a private location, and uh, it's all about getting the mind right, getting the body right, getting everything on point for that weigh-in on May 27th, and for UF UFC 130 on May 28th. Tiago will be on the pay-per-view, and he will be bringing the storm, looking to make his mark here in the UFC and set the tone, show Dana White, so show Mr. Fertitta, show the fans from around the world, show the rest of the welterweight division exactly who the number one contender is going to be. So it's uh, been an amazing training camp, and, um, you know, we're looking to do big things. American top team, amazing team, amazing gym, amazing great group of guys. We had Nathan Coy who's a superstar, super stud training partner, helping Tiago get ready for the last two months down there. We had Jason High, a.k.a. the KC Bandit on Twitter, of Twitter fame. Everybody knows Jason High. We had Gleason Tebow, 
who's another super stud, southpaw, monster beast wrestler. I got the phone call three weeks ago to step up on short notice, get in here and do his thing. Gleason was helping Tiago out tremendously and uh, a whole bunch of other guys. Um, you know, so it, it's been a phenomenal training camp. And this, this is what happens, everybody. You work hard. You bust your ass in the gym. You climb and scrape your way up that ladder every single day. You stay disciplined. Yeah. The pool table. We'll play a little eight ball. It's a gentleman's game. Um, you know, you do what you got to do, and eventually, boom, you could be here. You could be doing exactly this, doing big things up in the UFC, the number one organization in the entire world, and I'm not just saying that stuff. Uh-oh. See? The blondes, they just keep popping up in Vegas. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> I think that's it. You know, if we, uh... Anything else? This place is so big. It's what? Oh, there's the man right there. <laughs> Little video vlog. Boom! Telling everybody to get ready. Roll, baby. Have Tiago out this rolls. UFC 130. Boom! You ready to roll, champ? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ready to do this. Ready to do this. Usa.